channel i hope you're all doing well as you've seen in the start of this video i'm driving around in a brand new kawasaki mule which one of you guys can win for less than 20 pounds um the competition is live on tweedle.com right now and i'm going to tell you more information at the end of the video So the farm where Tweedle HQ is based is at a local farm, literally 10 minutes from us. Uh, it's Pick of Ants's, who we've known for absolutely years, uh, great farmers and it's just, well I say just, it's three years old now but they've got a 62 point rotary milking 850 cows so I thought while we're here we might as well have a quick look around. Right so I'm just up in the viewing gallery, where are the... Right, so the people will be over here on that bit there, putting the units on. Cows are coming on here. They're getting fed as they're getting milk. You can see down there in the troughs. So cows are waiting in the collecting yard on the left. If you can see there, that was all for filming, so sorry about that. <laughs> um, so they're all waiting to come in. And then the next one, if you look here, is just walking onto her stall now. And she comes. Oh, they've stopped it. Must have a slow milk around or something. They just stopped it for a second. And then over on the on the right hand side, they're walking. They back themselves off, and then they'll be walking down the race through the footpath. I think they're just all waiting for the building to be ready to go back in because there'll be some guys out there scraping out and shoving feed up and that sort of thing. So this is pretty cool. The collecting yard is on a slant downwards. So once all the cows have been milked and everything, I think this will be connected to a borehole or something. He'll open up this latch and the water will come firing out of that big spout there and wash all the collecting yard out. Saves doing it with a volume washer because that'll take someone ages here. It's massive. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Huge. I don't wonder how many cows are in there. I reckon there'll be about 150. I wonder how many it can hold. I think you'll fit like 200, maybe more than that, maybe 300 in there. Oh, he's got some red ones. Alex will be jealous. It's like, I can actually see like five red ones. We love a red cow. I've not got any gloves on, but anyway. Um, he has one of these brushes, which for a thing like this, you'd want to use now. I think he leaves it on that, but I don't like them being on. But anyway, you press your button, you get going, and you go on all your teams. Send all the disinfectants through. Press your button to stop it, and your teams are ready to be milked. Right, so the tanker's just got here. They are still milking, but he's just got here to probably just take what there is. And I'm just going to go and have a look at the tanks because I imagine they'll be absolutely massive. Look at his bucket stack. <laughs> Neat. Let's have a look. Where's the tickets? I'll not put the tickets on. So he's got two tanks and he's sending over 30,000 litres of milk. So there's one tank in there where the tanker man is hooked up, ready to go. And then they've another tank across here, which I'm guessing will pipe it from underneath, which is pretty cool. Yeah, look, that is cool. So I've come out of the parlor and next to the parlor is, these are dry cows, which is all new, as you can see by the Yorkshire boarding. Looks really smart. I'm into the green. We've got red at home, but there's green here. And then, I thought we had a lot of dry cows on, but there's absolutely loads in here, which milking 850, you can have a lot of dry cows, aren't you? I'm not actually with the farmer, he's having lunch, so I'm, we're on our own. And then, oh, that's cool as well. 
yeah, he's camera shy. He's just had his hair done. Um, <laughs> and these, I presume, they're, they're springing a bit more. So these will be near two carvers. And I've just spotted this over here, which is pretty cool. So if anything milks, which maybe he doesn't want to take to the parlor straight away or for whatever reason, he's got a little yoke at the front. So you'll open your gate, get your cow behind this gate, yoke it at the front where you can give it some provin. And then you've got your own little kit and stuff here where you can get your colostrum. That's actually a well good idea. Whole ground matted as well. Spoiling him. Looks really smart that, I like it. It's a good idea for catrols maybe one day. So we've got some high yielders in here which haven't been milked yet. These are all just waiting to go in. And I've just spotted, well, I don't know how old this building is, but it looks like he's got resin on his floor. Let me show you. So if I move the food away, this is what you call resin. So it makes the bottom of the, no, the surface of your feed area really smooth. So it, it's meant to up your intake um, on what your cows eat. And we're actually gonna be doing that at home um, this week I think so that'd be pretty cool I'll be able to show you how it's done and what it looks like when it's just been done so yeah oh, they look good don't they all just left down there all look very happy and content more red ones there's so many red ones we need to up our red game I can see two over there as well cows everywhere are you so most farmers dream is to bed up the cows on sand and they do do that here. So this is their dispenser. So it goes on the front of your, he's got JCBs here. So that'll go on the front of your JCB. He'll fill that up with sand. Let's have a look. And um, yeah, it like augers it out, I'm, supposed, I'm guessing. But yeah, we love sand. Sand's good. It doesn't, um, no bugs can live in sand. It's really comfy. And I think he's just put in some really deep sand beds. So I'm just going to bob in here. This building's all in the milking parlour getting milked. Oh, they're just wandering slowly back in now. As you can see, literally only like two. <laughs> anyway, so I'll show you these beds because these have no mats. They're all deep filled beds. So there's like um, the heel stone and then a nice deep bed filled with sand. I'll spin you around now so you can have a look. As you can see, so you've got your heel stone at the back and then into a nice big deep bed of sand that will be so comfy for the cows they will absolutely love them sand's a really good bedding but you've got to be set up right so you can separate your sand from your milk otherwise your sand will end up sitting in your slurry store and the pipes and all that sort of stuff and it can be quite hard so we always say at home we're not set up to be able to bed up on straw so the next best thing for us sorry we can't bed up on sand so the next best thing for us in sand comfort wise definitely is the way that we do it at home with the tyres and the straw which you'll have seen on the last few videos on mine because we're obviously putting some new ones in so these girls are just slowly coming back in now after being milked here he is specializes in farming, equestrian, field sports, all of that sort of thing. Um, they've created over 400 winners over the last three years. They've been going for three years, so 400 winners over three years is pretty cool. Um, and the biggest one that's on the website at the minute is the Kawasaki, which I've just been driving around in and having a bit of fun with the dogs. So if you want to enter, please do head over. It's tweedle.com and good luck. Right, so like I said, this competition is live right now, so you guys can head over there and enter tweedle.com. And if you use the code Evie, which I'll put in the bottom of the corner here, um, you get 10% off the ticket. So it's well worth it. Winning something like this for 20 quid, I know I definitely would be entering. So yeah, head over. Right, I'm going to leave the video there now, guys. I've just left the farm. Um, not my farm, Harrison's farm. So I just want to thank Harrison and his family for letting me do that there. Um, I was heading there anyway, because like I said, the Tweedle HQ is there, which I was driving around in that Kawasaki, which I 
really really want one it'd be so easy for me in winter for like all the horse jobs because if the horse are living out and then i like take the haylage out and all that sort of stuff and then the farm the jobs are just endless on the farm for what that sort of machine can do um so yeah it was really fun me and the dogs have enjoyed it bella is absolutely knackered she's falling asleep on this on the seat already and russell's got his head out the window <laughs> um anyway yeah and also i put on my instagram a bit back now about um length of videos what people are more into and i i tend to struggle doing a short video because i waffle on so much so today is a good test because it's not my farm i've not worked there before i know the family i know the family well but i don't know really what goes on there let me just put this window up because it's doing that banging thing in my ear um so i've not been able to waffle on so this is a short video so it's a good little tester to see whether you prefer it if you'd rather me do some short videos or if you do like the 20 to 30 minute videos that i would normally do um so please do let me know in the comments um you know if you're happy with the normal length of video that i do or if you do want some that are a little bit shorter because you don't want to listen to me rub it on for 30 minutes <laughs> so anyway which i'm doing now so i'm gonna go so thanks so much for watching guys if you haven't done already please do like and subscribe yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on the next one